You know we're recording. I don't care. <laughs> as, as we face the chilly days of winter, it's time once again to warm the cockles of your soul with window shopping from Car and Driver. Now here's Tony Caroga. Welcome to Window Shopping with Car and Driver. This is the occasional show where we search for cars online based on a challenge. And this week's challenge, I don't know if it comes to us from a viewer or, or no, this is your idea, wasn't it, Casey? Oh, yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it's- so winter, winter is upon us now, and we decided to look at some winter cars that you could buy for less than $7,500. So it's the Winter Beater episode, which we've actually done before. Um, this week, we're joined by senior editor, Mr. Joey Caparella, uh, senior editor at Road and Track, Mr. John Perley Huffman, uh, contributor, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey, and deputy testing director, Mr. Casey Colwell. So Who wants to go first? We didn't talk about order. Hold on. I want to say one thing. So last year was five grand. This year it's at five hundred. Is this inflation? Is this why? Why has the budget gone up? It's gone up because the, the price of used cars has gone up. Yeah, yeah. 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 This, is, this is literally true. The the, the, the actual <laughs> prices of used cars are up forty four percent at auction according to Mon- Mannheim. Yeah, isn't the average used car price up to like twenty nine thousand dollars? Yeah, thirty thousand. Exactly. They're expecting thirty thousand this month. Yeah, banana it's town. That's crazy so let's also, see what we found for 7500 pearly why don't you go first okay first of all i'd like to say that to everybody uh, uh that uh, they should go to ebay and they should go uh buy my uh, hot wheels so you must plug nailed it no free <laughs> ads <laughs> nailed it hey, wait, how, how long have you been selling hot wheels cars pearly about, about a month since his kid went to college i think <laughs> yeah anyhow i bought these are the hot wheels <laughs> The Hot Wheels I currently have for sale. I've sold thirty six hundred dollars Hot Wheels, of which one of them? What's your account name? How do I yeah, find what's, you? What's the your handle? Account name? Over this. Digi Daisy. It's D I G I Daisy. It's Digi Daisy. And uh, let's see. This is the save selling sold. This is Wait, sold. Dave Calhoun. Isn't that a Saturday Night Live character? I don't know. <laughs> Dave Calhoun. Well, he's getting one of my. I co- think that was a Saturday Night Live character. That uh, what's his name? Uh, here, 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 here was my big sale. I sold this car. For two thousand dollars. Holy cow! Do you have the money? Have you gotten the money? The money. Is that the original owner. The, I'm the original owner of this car. I bought it in 1968. This car went for two thousand dollars. You got it in 1968. Was the patina on it when you got it in 68, or is that is that pearly patina? That's from him playing with it. That's from me playing with it for two. That's it's a it's original, but this is a salesman. It had the chrome bottom, which is very very rare. Uh, they have these. So this is like a, and it's also a rare color. And the guy, uh, the, the guy offered me two thousand dollars if I put it, and I said yes. I, he just offered. $2, okay, well you can't question. add this, Pearly. You can't add this two thousand to the seventy five hundred in the budget. Yeah, can there. you find a winter beater for less than? But the is, my, this this could be my winter beater, and it would never, you know, very easy to garage. The next episode is going to be winter beater or hot wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, and then, but here is my winter beater because remember, I am from you know Santa Barbara, California, which means I've never had any sort of experience with the actual winter. And the winters here in Santa Barbara mean, did you see this? Can you see the car? Oh, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. It means uh, that we've had a little bit of rain. And the best thing about it is the day after it rains is usually the very best day to have a convertible. In Santa so why, why this one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, of all the convertibles, why this one? This one's because this one's this one's only 3900 bucks. It's only got 71,000 miles on it. And I know these are terrible cars, but I love the. I've always liked the way they looked, especially these first generation ones. I actually think they're good looking cars. This is the Michael Scott mobile. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is, Did he yeah. have this one? I thought he had the. Yeah, the, the, the slightly different. I always thought he had a PT Cruiser, but I never paid that much. That was later. Cruiser. That was later. After the Sebring went out of production, he got a PT. Cruiser. I think this. Is, I think this one looks like it's in good shape, and uh, you know. They're, I mean, are they are they good cars? No. It's are, got the seatbelt integrated into the seat, just like an SL, just like an R129 yeah. SL. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, they, they actually, as, as convertibles, they actually seal pretty well. And, you know, if you're just cruising does, it about... Does that passenger headrest go down? No, yeah, no. no, it does. No, I... Oh, I, I see. Not, not, not currently, yeah. Do you think it, does, it look, does it look good? Do you, are these good-looking cars? It's not a bad looking car. There you go. Not even bad. But I mean, but I mean, especially with the complaints you've made in the past, Burley, this is a terrible car, though. With, <laughs> with all that money to spend. It's a beater. It's a beater. The word here is beater. Yeah. This is a car to buy, drive it for the winter, and then get rid of it. 
it's kind of disposable. It's, it's, yeah, it's you because, get it out of your system. Because, still do better. Because all the other cards I have, I really care about, and I don't want to abuse them in the winter. So it's something, you know, it doesn't even have to be that reliable of a card. It's just got to get yeah. you through, yeah. it doesn't have to be through winter. This it, does have, it does have front wheel drive if he decides to go into the mountains. Yeah, it does have front wheel oh, drive. Wait, hold on. There's a prowler behind it. Isn't that a prowler? We go back. That's a caliber. There's a caliber. Oh, yeah. There's a prowler. There's a prowler. There's a prowler back there. And, you know, really make me mistook a prowler for a caliber. And we, this is, you get, tell the snow country, you could probably trade the guy for the snow plow for to put it on the front of the Sebring if you wanted to. Yeah, where, where is, is this snow plow? Weighs more than the Sebring. This, car, this car's in Plano, Illinois. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How are you going to drive it back? Slowly. Um, <laughs> it's fun. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a beater. I don't want a car that I'm going to care that much about. I wouldn't care that much about this car. It would have the advantage of being able to put the top down for a California winter. Tony and I live in California. We do really? not He's just going to stop at a circle. He's going to stop at a circle K, get a hairband, put it back, and let it run. <laughs> really? Does this have auto stick? And have you driven one of these? Because the rigidity on these is appalling. Oh, the rigidity on these things is, is they're absolute <laughs> uh, But yes, this has auto stick. Let's see. Does it? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, the, 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 yes, it does. You just you just move it over. No, I, I don't you think mean, so. It, has a, it should have a thing in the pattern that shows the. Auto yeah, stick. it was left right on the on the oh, old yeah. price. Well, well, I, I'm okay. So I'm gonna have to. Oh yeah, it was it. down and left right. You're right yeah. about that. Okay, I, in that case, I have to compromise, and I'm gonna lack that level of engagement from this fine driving these, machine. These steering wheels always look like they were upside down to me. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, there's, you know, there's, but the, these cars, these things, these cars are cheap. Oh, yeah, so yeah you know, why do you think that is, Burley? Because they're garbage. Because we're keeping it to thirty not, minutes. That's not cheap enough for what this is. <laughs> no, I, I, not, I, I think four grand for a car with seventy-one thousand miles on it that you could, you know, keep for a couple of seasons. I suppose you could buy two of them, and <laughs> and you know, you'd still be within within negotiating range. You could yeah. buy two of them and crash them into each other. I mean, come on, this is this. <laughs> We're not talking. I mean, we're not talking. We're not talking about a car to keep forever. We're not talking about a car for. And we're talking about my experience of wet of winter is not your experience of winter for people who are not lucky enough to live in Santa Barbara, California. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, this, I guess I didn't say in the invite that it was a snowy winter. But no, you didn't. <laughs> and where do you? Where, where do I live? Winter. winter. It, it was. If it was and snowy. I, I would have picked something else. But I don't live where it snows. I feel like you're going to bring down. I feel like you're going to bring down property values driving that car around Santa Barbara. <laughs> No, I'm going to bring down property values by yelling at my street story. park it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, Joey, you've been like, gone for a very long time. So why don't you uh, why don't you step up and go? I want to see what you so bought. I I bought a winter beater last year and I it wasn't good and I did not like it. Even what did I you buy? I had, super a legacy, I had a legacy wagon. I really didn't like it. And so I, how much did you drive it? I drove it probably like a thousand miles. Well, that's a lot. Did Just you that. sell it? Maybe like eight hundred. Yeah, so I bought it for twelve hundred, and then I sold it for twelve fifty. Nice. So I call that a good time. But uh, capitalism, baby. <laughs> but I don't know if I. You can't find a twelve hundred dollar car these days. Joey, anyway, what did you What did you do with the fifty dollars? Well, I don't remember actually, because <laughs> it was cash too. It was a cash sale. You know, I made more money on that Hot Wheel than you did on selling the car. <laughs> yeah. Well, you owned it for 50 years. But I also spent yeah. less on the car to begin with. Yeah, well, okay. All right, Joey, what did you buy? Or what are you buying? This okay, week? so I would want to get a winter video that I actually like that's kind of nice to drive. Because having a crappy one made me realize that even though you don't have it for very long, like, you still want something nice. So, of course, I, got, I went for a Lexus. Um, <laughs> I think that, I don't know, I've been thinking about these original RXs recently for some reason. And I think they're just really, like, because they they got so popular so quickly, they kind of just blend in. But I feel like at the time when they came out, like, it was a really weird idea and it hadn't really existed before. And I think the design has aged really well. Um, and this one looks like it's in really good shape. So it has a lot of miles, you know, almost 200,000. But I feel like that's fine for a winter beater because you're not going to put that many more miles on it. And they're saying that it's got like new brakes and new tires and blah, blah, blah. Um, so it seems like, I don't know, you can just tell from the pictures that it looks like it's been. I can make it, uh, I can contend that this is the most important car in the last 25 years. It, yeah, I mean, unibody, unibody yeah. SUV. I mean, it was unibody, 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 unibody SUV, yeah. 
unibody luxury with a with an automotive drivetrain because the big thing is you know they've had unibody SUVs before the the Cherokee XJ is a unibody and the Rav4 and CRV came before this too but this was the first yeah one. it's a luxury in the transverse drivetrain this is a this is a very important vehicle this is essentially established what a family car should be in the 21st century and this beat ML Lexus? did this beat ML to market no all the first no, 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 ML ML maybe no, right around the that, same yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the first, the first, well, what was the, the first ML was body on frame. Yeah. It was like 96. Was right. Body on frame. Oh yeah, it was. It was body. I, thought, I thought maybe they were both 97 or 98 models. And these things sold like mad. Yeah. They were Lexus's best-selling vehicle for years. You got to remember before this, before this, the Lexus, I mean, the ESs were, I mean, how many e, ES had to have been the best-selling vehicle in that segment? Mm. Yeah. By yeah. a long shot, right? Well, and even today, RX and ES are by far sell way more than any other. I think so the RX this, I, didn't this have a 3.3 V6, not the not no, the, the three first liter. generation had the three liter, the second generation had a 3.3. Okay, but um, not a four cylinder because the listing has it as a four cylinder. No, am I correct? Yeah, that's wrong. It's, it's a three liter V6 all wheel drive. So, what's, what's this? This is a Camry V6. What's, right. this, what's this called? The Toyota Harrier in Japan? Yeah, in Japan yeah. It's the it still is. Um, and well, no, right now the Harrier is the Venza. Oh, okay. In Japan? Japan yeah. They, oh. they changed, or, you know, the Harrier has diverged from the RX. Read the last two. You know, the, R, the, RX, the RX is an amazingly important vehicle. And I would have it, you know, it's a winter beater that's fine, but it's also like kind of a neat thing to have a piece of history. Yeah. I see your tab. I, mean, price, has, I, think... uh, I see your tab has a winter tire there. Oh yeah, so I want to talk about winter tires. Blizzax set of Blizzax. Why would you need those? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not go. Places down. with weather. What's um, what, what are you talking about? I'm lost. I think five thousand dollars is pretty fair for this, given the and it's well and it's negotiable. You could probably get him down. Yeah, you, you could probably get that down a little bit. I like so the mirror. It's a good buy, and I would love to drive this during the winter. I like the mirrored tint on these too. Like oh, yeah. the bronze oh, so, tint on the windows. Yeah. yeah. I'm really, I'm, I'm always a big fan of little tiny little windows at the front uh, of the A pillar. Wait, 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 wait. Tony, you oh, hate yeah. tint. I do, but I kind of like the way that the mirrored tint looks on these, the privacy <laughs> glass. Pearly, mm -hmm. those are called sail windows. I always think those are cool. These look little ones right here. Yeah, right the now. sail windows. The cooler I mean, when they when they, they when they tilt the open, so you looks can... like it's in this good condition because everything it looks about like a this house car, with though, like kids in it and stuff. So everything can, about this car yeah. is beige, like the the feelings, the sensations, the look, everything the about it. Is the beige. interior is black, and that says something, doesn't it, Jonathan? Yeah. Oh, totally. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least his car has real wood, Pearly. Okay, I I don't yeah, care I about real wood. Girl. Ouch! I get I get my real wood in other places. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> you know, Casey normally opens that segment. I guess Pearly is uh, starting me. Yeah, so I think this is a great buy. I think it's got everything you need for the winter. I'm pretty sure it has heated seats. Does it got any rot on it? It's from Wisconsin. Does it have any rot on it? I don't see any. It looks pretty clean. It looks clean. It's got not enough. Class. Not enough that that it's going to make a difference in the next five months. Yeah. Plus, it's winter. You know, you're going to be driving it in assault anyway. I think it has a VSC badge for the stability. Salt. Yeah, I noticed that, right? Just put, there's salt? So much salt. It's disgusting. Oh, what is... What, I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's so you can it's taste why it. why I put my own Lexus in a garage for the winter. Yeah. All right. Hey, you'd have two Lexuses. Yeah, Lexus. maybe I should buy this. <laughs> All right. You're done. Who's <laughs> up? Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey. Um, uh, brought? So I had gone to the... Joey Caparella School of Winter Beaters, but I, this storm in my background behind me happened in Virginia. That was a picture from the news today, and I was like, no, I need it. I need an apocalypse machine, so I'm buying this. Uh, where? Oh, this is, holy sh Swearing. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Get me out. Wait, wait, oh, there's supposedly, wait, wait, I gotta find that. There's supposedly a way to do it, a beep, to like beep yourself on Zoom. But that's a great deal. That, I mean, I, I, you're not going to that cheap. Yeah. Let Jonathan present. Uh, <laughs> no, please, please savor my find. <laughs> I know you. Uh, I like it. Um, so yeah, nineteen is FJ one hundred. Um, 
with the V8. Yeah. Go ahead, Pearlie. No, don't, Pearlie, let him present. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I apologize. I didn't mean to step on your incredible right. We've had We've had Land Cruisers on several times before. Um, I own the generation before this. Uh, this one is, I prefer mine, but I do like this one, especially for a winter beater kind of car. I this wanted something nice. that could go anywhere and that I could sleep in if things got terrible on the highway. I still have enough for... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back to that, go back to that wheel. What's going on with those lugs? There's some corrosion. Yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be a catch with that price. There's probably a lot of corrosion, but he's just going to own it for a winter. Yeah, I mean, this is like the, the only time Tony is going to let this slide. It's the car. Well, this is a deal. I mean, this is an amazing yeah, deal. I can't good. believe this is real. This is like the six thousand dollar Lotus. Yeah, that's another real car that I found. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is there a description or anything? Yeah, we're gonna need to. We're gonna need to scrutinize this. <laughs> like, Sorry, I know you're gonna try and keep it to five minutes, but <laughs> that's yeah, okay. I, I told you, Tony. This is a yeah, light cruiser. This is a Land Cruiser at Hot Wheels prices. I mean, is this uh, like a rebuild? Oh, yeah. What's a Carfax said? Is there a car specs? You um, all saw those notes. But everything Tiny Belt done, I mean, it does have high miles, oh. but yeah, for yeah, what it is. We're going to need to click on that view all sellers notes. As, 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 nope, nope, don't even think about Not scrolling. Right there. there we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you let me know when you need me to turn the page. <laughs> I think you should buy this. How is it? This is too good to be true. All right, keeps going down. What else we got going on here? Yeah, you should click the car facts. Well, maybe um, maybe the prices of these has dropped slightly because the cost of fuel is so expensive currently. Uh, maybe. maybe well, I mean, I don't know. This is a pretty. That's a pretty desirable. I mean, that's that's the first of the V8s, right? Yeah, because this yeah. is a thirteen mile per gallon, twelve to fifteen mile per gallon. Exactly. Yeah. At best. Right. At best. Um, is there a Carfax? I don't see. Uh... It said there was a link up at the top, but I don't know if it's free. I don't think it's free. I think you got to buy it. Uh, and we don't care uh, about our we don't care about our viewers enough to actually spend money on that. <laughs> but I mean, this this says it's only 140 bucks under a good deal under average uh -huh. market price. Uh -huh. So I don't know. I feel like these usually go for like 15. I mean, like, I mean, look at that zero at MPG. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> Land cruisers are like you never. It, it depends on who you get on the day. It's like being going through customs at the airport. Wait, wait, scroll back down. Scroll back down. Scroll back down. Sorry, it just was the VIN really two hundred two of the year? Keep going. Twenty two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Do you want me to run it? No, no, it's good. <laughs> well, run the, hit, click on Carfax report and see what shows up. You're gonna have to pay for it. The gears are turning. There it is. No. Get, get the car. Hit the car. 50 records. Look, it's got to get me through the winter. <laughs> get, the car fax, get the Carfax report. Hit Casey, the, you have to pay for it, Pearly. Casey, well, the stop talking. <laughs> Maybe the 50. Now, Pearly, any more buttons you want me to push? <laughs> you know, click the one that says that, that says they just want gift cards. <laughs> oh my god so it just has to get me through five months and, and casey uh, for all we know the 50 records could be 50 services at the lexus dealer exactly <laughs> it's a toyota but yeah that was a lot of oil changes a lot of oil changes <laughs> they uh i mean you no know, and it could have been I, who knows what's under the there are no pictures under carriage this is probably a winter time thing and it has been through so stuff, but again, for five months, and they've clearly taken a bit of care of it with the timing belt change uh, and a nice vacuum job. So yeah, I they trust it'll last me till next April. What's that? Yeah, I would just get like a sheepskin seat cover and put it on that busted up driver's Boom. seat. Yeah. Um, I even got a tow hitch for whatever the cars I'm going to pull out of the uh, the snowstorm. That's a good what choice. Tires. What tires? Would you get right? I'd probably get uh, you know, Goodyear Wranglers aren't too bad, they're like 125 or 150 a piece. So, rock up to Walmart, get a hot dog, have my tires changed. Oh, they'd, they'd get you for new lug nuts, though. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they always screw you. Uh, yeah, you might not want to take those off because that might that might just that might just be like, 
peeling well, when away I, an onion. When I sell it, I'll put them back on because I want I want to use the the new ones. But I have a grand for tires and uh, you do. for tires and you lug do. nuts. That's a good find. I, I like your find. It's a good find. So yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Get to the winter safe. All right, Mr. Uh, Colwell, what have you brought? All right. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna share screen. Uh, I uh, I am buying. I I am kind of currently um, digging on early WRXs, especially two liter two liter WRXs. And again, I just got to get through the winter, and this is what I'm gonna do it in. It's and you cool. can you can handle the stiffness of that car. Oh yeah. Are the regular WRXs aren't that stiff, are they? I mean, they're yeah, not they're, great riding. But. They're not. They're not great riding, but um, uh, but yeah. I mean, this is uh, it's clean. I'm sorry, this is a sweet car. I mean, it's yeah. It's, it's like you can see there's some yeah there's some scratches and stuff. Again, I'm gonna be bombing this thing in the winter very fast on Michigan roads. Oh, that, what's that gauge on the? That is so, a that is a, a dealer installed boost gauge. Dealer installed or a. Or that's a, dealer installed. That's what the dealer installed one was. It's okay. got a Momo. It got a Momo badge in the in the center thing. That's that was that was factory. That, that it was, was a Momo factory. wheel. Yeah, it was a Momo wheel. Yeah. Hmm. Those um, are great seats too. Yep, yeah, seats are good. Uh, I like this. So, so um, I well, uh, uh, I don't think my wife can hear me, but my girlfriend had um, a wagon, a 2004 wagon that had the later seats that were like these which is like a fixed headrest that i always liked a lot more those are cool um so uh, you've been shopping uh, for guns and rope what's going on there what <laughs> you've been shopping for guns and rope no i told you i sent you this thing i don't know who guns and rope <laughs> Look at i don't know way. all you it's need a, is like a, some like plastic to put down and you got yourself plastic and lie um <laughs> No, so that's the thing. It looks like a, it looks like a like a like a Smith and Wesson revolver, basically, that with a cocked hammer that you plug into your seatbelt so that the alarm goes off. Oh no, like, that's a horrible idea. Yeah, I mean, do people just want to get shot? Yeah, that's like a- is it like oh, let me just like make it look like I have a loaded gun right next to my hip? <laughs> uh, anyway, right, take us through the listing. Anyway, yeah, how many so, miles are on that thing? So uh, wait, um, so there's the uh, engine bay. Mm-hmm. Just break I mean, through. so and, and part of the reason, one of the reasons why I like the idea of of buying a WRX, especially as a winter beater, is that uh, they're hard to find that have been unmolested. And um, I mean, I, I think no matter what, it's going to be kind of a, a bit of a reliability nightmare. Uh, I worked on them a little bit, so I'm, I'm a little familiar with them, so I'm not too worried about it. What's but, the price? Uh, Forty five hundred bucks. Oh. And I mean, with the with the weather you're having, you're you're okay with the phrase reliability kind of a reliability nightmare you okay with getting stuck uh, I, somewhere? I don't no i mean i don't think i don't think i'm ever gonna get stuck somewhere um <laughs> i mean i think i think i'm gonna end up i think there's gonna be like i'm gonna chase there's gonna there might be some gremlins to chase um is that what the rope's for in case you get stuck yes <laughs> and uh, gremlins but, that only live at, gremlins that only live at home uh but with that extra money i am gonna put on um a wheel and tire package that's <laughs> almost as valuable as uh, as the car some bad oh yeah but these bbs rfs uh are forged made in japan uh and 17 inch spec they are a svelte 14.3 pounds that looks pretty nice oh yeah i mean that's not, obviously not the right color um close you know. but uh so that's also three grand in wheels and tires that i'm gonna be able to sell after um <laughs> For three I, grand. Say, I feel like a WRX is really easy to sell too, because that was something um, I was considering when I was shopping for my winter beater. Was like, what's something that's going to be easy to offload when I'm done? With it's amazing. And with those winter tires, I can like I'm, I'm in Michigan. There's a bunch of like uh, um, ice autocrossing and ice racing. Yeah, that'd be fun. I can just take this thing and and, and uh, quite frankly do very well because it's a, it's a relatively light car, and you have pretty good tires, and you have all wheel drive, and um, great traction quite frankly i was on a comparison test in one of these once and i was following john phillips down a road and he got really far ahead no oh, i was there this is a good i story. accidentally like i didn't know there was like a there was like a little hill that was i can't remember what the recommended speed was but 
I went over it way too fast and got very airborne, landed, did a couple of tank slappers, caught it. But man, that I, I was terrified I was going to wreck that car. And the CD player, all that happened was the CD player ejected and I punched the fender wells. I, like the wheels hit so hard that they punched the fender wells out. Oh, cool. Um, Fun car. Yeah, fun car. And like these, they were always on these RE92s, which like horrible tires from the beginning. So I don't even know what's on the car uh, right now, but it's an upgrade from the RE92. They so have, have a lot fun. of turbo lag. They, they, they're completely- yeah, the two liters have a lot of turbo lag, but they also rev, but they rev out. They rev, yeah. I think they rev to 7,000 RPM. And this one's in California, so it's probably rust free. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, 7,000 RPM, mm-hmm. 227 horse. Um, Pretty quick. Obviously, I mean, they haven't really gotten that much quicker than you want. No, we've tested like we've occasionally tested WRXs that have been like wicked quick to sixty, that and was- it's all, it's all, but it's all in the launch. No, I, I mean, yeah. I, I think I tested one that was like four or five once. It's a red line clutch dump. It's a red line clutch dump, and you have to catch like the the two three shift just like you have to hit sixty then shift. But if you hit like sixty point zero 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 one miles per hour then you're into the you're into a limiter so you right. end up getting screwed so it, it's it's usually it ends up being two shifts to 60 but if you catch it just perfect that's um, a very practical choice casey <laughs> is it yeah it's a fun that's it's a, a nice use the word practical it's fun i mean it's and again like i like i said like i i you know sort of had one that um you know years and years ago and now it's like you look for them and they're all i mean they've all been like engine swapped and who knows what else and uh like the wagons I really like, but the wagon fenders tend to rust away. And yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be a fun thing to own for a winter. Okay. You guys ready to see the winner? <laughs> okay. I wish I had enough budget for this. You just want to say as a winner. All right, Lebowski. <laughs> yeah. <as> a, <laughs> How many miles on this thing? 28,693. Oh, with the 302. I would take this over that seven liter. That... <laughs> no, no. Okay, but this no. isn't my car. This isn't my car. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Where is it? Here it is. Ford Fairmont, <laughs> 1981. Oh my god! So for five thousand dollars, you can have a Lexus for this. Okay, I... okay, Tony. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Tony told me a very funny story <laughs> about a about a young Antonio Quiroga going to Puerto Rico. And the rental car was a fair. Oh the what? <laughs> that the rental car was a fair. Story. You know how excited you were by it. It's oh, it's a one plate. I can't. I can't believe I'm seeing this. Is this? Is this a still a joke? Is no, this, this is completely legit. So for me, a winter beater is a car that you would never otherwise own, and you just own it temporarily. You have no plans on owning it for a long time. And you just get it out of your system. And I've always wanted since I was a little kid, as KC just said. Oh my god! And we we went on vacation to Puerto Rico, and the and the Fairmont was new then, and so we rented one. And I was so excited. You mean so? What, hold color, on. Was this you said, what color was the Fairmont that you rented? Oh, I think it was this color. I think this is called. I wrote it down. Pastel. You said chamois. At, as a child in a Fairmont, and looked around and went, one day, when I grow, <laughs> one day when I grow up. No, I was just excited that there was a new car that I hadn't been in. So, so it didn't. It, it wasn't even about the car. It was Puerto Rico. It was a rental in Puerto Rico was the issue. No, no, no. no. It, it was about the car. It was hundred percent about the car. I was excited to rent a Fairmont because it was something. Because it was Wait, something you didn't you rent it. I no know. human child has ever said that. I know. I know. No, 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 no. I can relate because when when my family would travel, we'd rent like a Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, that's where you want to be, Tony. You know, Jonathan. I don't think you understand how uh, how much hype was around the Fairmont at the time when it was new. Why? Because I was there. I, I do understand. No, 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 no. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. You just don't <laughs> look at this. There was among. I mean, well, yeah, there was no hype it's around the Fairmont. The where I was. There was, but this this car this car was such uh-huh. a departure for Ford. It replaced well, I was, the Maverick. Well, I was probably oh, I was this in Vietnam the when this happened. So yes, it replaced yeah. it replaced the Maverick, and the Tempo replaced this, and then the Mondeo oh, replaced yeah. this. Yeah, it, well, though the Tempo didn't replace the Tempo replaced uh, it was below this. No, the Tempo this replaced. This is more like when the, didn't the Taurus replace this? Like this is, the first, this, is, this is the first this is the first box body car. The right, first, the right, Furley, Furley, Furley. The LTD that was based on the Fairmont. 
yeah. that became the not didn't become but that was replaced by the Taurus. Right, that was the Fairmonts the themselves were replaced by Tempo. Okay, kind of. Yeah, I think you're right. That, that, look at a, that. Look at this interior, Jonathan. <laughs> Do you really want to like put your hat and gloves on and put on your coat and walk outside when it's really cold and then sit down into that? Yes. <laughs> I mean, look at this. What do we? What do we? Wait, wait, wait. What do we? What do we think those 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 cloth seats smell like? Nothing. <laughs> it's a California car. This wait, is like no. Do they smell like Winston's or like? Dwells? No, 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 not not Paramounts, um, Parliaments. I, just, I, 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 I no love, way. I love the, I love the no speed with the fifty-five. You think so? I used to hack Parliaments. No, 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 no way, man. This, this smells. This smells like Tarringtons. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. I think it smells like Dynasty. <laughs> no, <laughs> look, like. seventy-four thousand miles. <laughs> it's a blue plate, rust-free California, all of its life. Yeah, five I, I grand. That's... Now the six cylinder is a three three. I think it's a three three six cylinder with eighty five horsepower. So it's not very quick. Straight six. It's a straight six. Not yes, very exactly. Quick. So I, I sourced these wheels from the Mustang since it's a Fox body. They have the same bolt pattern, so I can bolt these up. And then I got um, these Michelin and slow on them. Michelin yeah. X Ice Snow. Mm -hmm. That has mm -hmm. to be the smallest. That, so that's a new tire. That's a new Michelin winter tire. It may be new last year, but it has to be the smallest size they offer in in. Exercise. Wait a minute, Tony. Why are you in buying snow style? tires when you live in Los Angeles? Well, I was in the spirit he, of the. He, he likes to go to Mammoth. No, look, Casey. Oh, they they offer a fourteen. <laughs> I would dare Tony to go to Mammoth in that car. Oh, I'm making I mean, that's fine to Mammoth. I'll fly in. I'll fly in with my skis to ride up. <laughs> To, to Mammoth in that car with Tony. Did you, did you notice? Did you notice on the back of the Fairmont how the uh, the name Fairmont had fallen off, and all he had left was the glue? I did, but I think it looks good. I think it still looks stylish. <laughs> oh it's, period, it's period correct. Wait a minute, I want to go back and look at your targeted ads real quick. <laughs> oh, it's all tires, isn't it? <laughs> it's tires. <laughs> yeah, it's tires. <laughs> I don't, I, in, in eighty one, that must be the. Let me see. The first Fairmont was 78. So this is the fourth year of production for the Fairmont. Right? Yeah. And I don't like the two spoke. There's a four spoke steering wheel that the Gia's got. So I, I tried to source one. So it's going to take me a little longer to source it. But, that's but look at this. This is a beautiful car. Uh, uh, beautiful. Not, that's a beautiful why car. Why is it a winter beater? That is not. Thank you, Joey. And that's not a beautiful car. Okay. I think it's a good winter <laughs> beater. I, it's got a lot of ground clearance, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> this this car this car was the simplest car the simplest car in the history of cars. Um, well, I don't know about that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think the French but, and the East and Europeans would beg to differ. This, 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 this is as close as America ever got to producing a Doshavo. This is like absolutely no moving parts. <laughs> has, no moving. You know, parts. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure like the Model T might be the. I mean, I think look, I think in the garage behind that ladder is Fred Sanford. And they didn't get him in the photo, mm -mm. but mm -mm. they boom. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't want. I, yeah. I think this is a great choice, Joey. I think it's practical. I think it's fun. I wouldn't feel too guilty about driving it through a winter. I think it would be great. Did you say I, would, fun? I, I would feel so too guilty about driving it through a wall. Who else would buy that? How would you resell it? <laughs> That's I mean, a very maybe, good point. If you, there okay, is a there is an element. It, to maybe if you buy it in California and drive it to Detroit, you'd find a buyer in Detroit. I would definitely find a buyer in Detroit for that car. <laughs> was this the last year for the Fairmont? Was the LTD was the LTD version or the Granada? The Granada think, was next year. I think it went to eighty two or maybe eighty three. I can't recall. Remember, remember, the LTD was actually based. Remember, they had a Granada based on the Fairmonts. Yes. Yeah. And, and the LTD was really kind of an updating of the Granada. Exactly. exactly. Did, did anyone live near anyone who owned any of these cars? I did. About? No, I mean I, I, I rented one family. in Puerto Rico. That's all. But you, yeah. So you you sat in one. I drove. I, I I used to I used to drive one to deliver flowers here in Santa Barbara. We had a, they had a, a, a we had a, a station wagon. A, a were they popular? Was, oh popular. yeah. My God, they were I, I had a fair, uh, It was a Fairmont wagon with a two, three, four, and a five-speed manual, and I thought it was one of the neatest, stupid things in the world to drive. It was really yes. Hard. Do you know yeah, how old I was? I was flowers. Yeah, I was Why? three. Well, you know how old I was? I was nineteen. 
at three times, I don't, I don't remember anything I thought at three. And you remember being in Puerto Rico, Tony? In the next, oh, in the yeah. Movie? It was a big the deal for me. You need pictures. I had a fair amount left in impression. <laughs> yeah, Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Well. All right. Well, we've come to the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and eventually crown a winner. And Pearly, you went first with the C brain. <laughs> I know everyone's going to hate it. I don't care. No. Just, just I'm offended because you're talking about how warm your winter is. It is. <laughs> you know, I'm taking I'm taking the big L on the contest, yeah, but I'm I'm winning by living in California. So screw you all. There you go. I, all I don't right. know if that's winning, but okay. Uh, who's <laughs> up next? Joey, like, you like, went like, next with the yeah. Harrier. Uh, RX 300. Yeah, that's a pretty cool car. That's a good. That's a good. I probably didn't choose his favorite. Yeah, I was gonna. Oh yeah, I didn't choose my favorite. I didn't choose my favorite. I I think this is a tough one. Um, I, you know, the two Toyotas really good. I mean, Fairmont, the, come on, Fairmont. Yes. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Land Cruiser. I'm gonna go. With, I mean, that thing's. I always wanted to own a Land Cruiser, and I know that's a two UZ. I own two vehicles with two UZ engines. Those things are absolutely great. Locking in the pearly vote. <laughs> yeah. Tundra uh, adjacent. I got all thumbs up, right? Yes. Yep. Joey, right. what are you uh what are you picking? Are you I gotta pick the Land Cruiser, although I still think there's gotta be a catch. Like the price is just there's, too good. I there's don't believe no it. catch. It 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 came in just under the, the site's good deal thing, 140 bucks. Yeah, but, but what site that was like anyway, that was like car deal direct.net. No, yeah. it was car it was cars. I, I look I, yeah, I look at it like the only thing I argue I can make against Land Cruisers is, is that I wouldn't buy it as a winter beater, I'd buy it as something to turn into an overlander. You can do both. I mean, but yeah, yeah you can you can do both. <laughs> but how, how can you go overland if you never leave California? <laughs> Okay, Jonathan. Just, just over Santa Barbara land is what he means. <laughs> so from, from State Street to uh, the Western. Jonathan, uh, it sounds you like you're going to get all thumbs up. <laughs> Jonathan, what you, you pick Santa Barbara? What are you picking? Um, uh, I am, uh, there were some, there were some compelling choices other than the <laughs> Fairmont <laughs> the <laughs> Sebring. <laughs> um, and I am, I mean, I'm, I'm actually I'm tempted by the the Lexus and the Subaru. I mean, Subaru is just a bit too much for me when I think winter beater. So and the the I don't think I would ever own. I would never want a uh, an RX. But based on Tony's definition, something to try to check off to have, I totally take the RX. All right. So Joey's got a vote, and you've got two, Jonathan. Right. That makes sense considering the last winter beater you bought. Exactly, which which I still own, yeah. sadly. Oh, are you having trouble selling it? Oh no, I haven't even tried to sell it. Oh, it's okay. just it's just too easy to get into and like roll down to Kroger, the Buick? To Walgreens, <laughs> and pick stuff. Are you talking about the Buick? Yeah, yeah. No, wait. What's a what's a what's a what's a defunct like Southern Ohio Farmer Jack? <laughs> we don't anymore, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah. go, going to Denny's and getting breakfast on Sunday. Casey, Come did on. you have Chathams? Did you have Chathams when you were little? I don't um, remember Chathams. Sorry. I mean, I've uh, heard of Chathams. Casey, WRX. I think it's a solid choice. Yeah, it is. It's a good car. Yeah. Yes, yeah, no votes, but yeah, everybody thinks it's great. So, I mean, <laughs> the Fairmont, I do I do love me a bench seat, um, <laughs> but I can't. And then, you know, the, the, the Lexus just reminds me too much of, like, my high school – the line of like the pickup line at my high school. Like, I feel like it's <laughs> filled fair. with RXs and Grand Cherokees. Um, I, I'm no on the uh, C-ring. So it's, it's, it's the crusher. Jonathan. It's the land crusher. Jonathan steals the victory. I'm oh, sorry. I'm yeah. sorry, but you broke up, Tony. What was that? What <laughs> before, before, before victory? The victory is sealed. We'll see. I, mean, how I, I, see we'll I still, but I don't understand how. I don't understand how because it, 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 I don't even know if that's a real listing. Of course, it's a real listing. Wait, 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 what's the number? What's the number? We're gonna. I'm gonna dial the number right finish, now, let's finish and we're gonna the hear voting. Jonathan's phone ring. All right. How do you guys feel about you, how do you guys feel about driving a Fairmont in the weather that is behind Jonathan? <laughs> no way. I'm up, I'm up on it. Look, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like giving it a thumbs up just because a three-year-old who can be so moved 
<laughs> by a rental car in Puerto Rico <laughs> is, is astounding to me. I, so I want to get you down to the lab and have you looked at <laughs> to figure out what's going on. I, 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 just, I, just, I, just, I just imagine Tony's family driving down through Puerto Rico and they're going like, look at the beautiful ocean, the beautiful bay, look at all these fantastic <laughs> <laughs> Mario He's going like, look at the upholstery in this thing. He's running it's his awesome. two old paws awesome. through the velour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like so. So, Tony, you have two older sisters, right? Yeah. So, were you sitting in the middle of the back seat of that the whole time? Or? Oh, I don't know. I was probably sitting in the front. I probably demanded to sit in the front. You don't even remember yeah. where you were sitting, but you remember the car. I remember the instrument panel. I definitely remember the car. It was a big deal. These the instrument panel always had two holes in it. There's like one for the speedometer and one for like the gas gauge alone, which is like had this like the biggest gas gauge in the history. And then when they did the Mustang, they filled that with attack because it's basically the same dash. Mm -hmm. But it was a, you know, it was, it was, it was both a terrible and horrifying and awesomely stupid car. But I love those things. <laughs> I love them too. And there's so many cool things you can do to them. You can put in the Mustangs V8 into them. You can do a bunch of stuff to them. So many cool things. I'm get, I'm gonna do a, a Fairmont, like, like a nice like 80s angle. And then above it, it's just going to say so many cool things. You can do. <laughs> exactly. So, but, you know, that's a t -shirt. Shop I mean, that's a Paramount T-shirt. There are a lot. There are a lot of guys. A lot of guys here. In, in, I don't know because I was you know that car was really cheap when I was working for Carcraft, and it was always like people were got wanting to buy a Paramount and put the Mustang engine and drivetrains, especially the wagons. <laughs> All right. What are, who am I voting for? Um, you know who you're voting Ebring. for. Um, you, you know who you're voting for. Yeah, I'm voting for you, Jonathan. Easy. <laughs> Easy. That's, that's a great, that's that a great a winter beater. That's a great truck. It probably has another 100,000 miles of life in it. You'll probably be able to sell it for more than you bought it for if you actually get that deal. Without doubt. I'll, I'll go the other way. You'll drive yours to Detroit. I'll drive mine out your way. So, uh, <laughs> now, yours is too rusty. I'll give you a ride back, actually, because I don't think there's any way you're going to make it to Detroit <laughs> in that fair amount. Oh, I, I disagree. You know, it just passed smog. Did you see that? It passed smog. Yeah, but didn't it pass smog? But then the listing said, "Could use a tune-up, though." Well, what car could you <laughs> use a tune-up? <laughs> no, it's a giant displacement in line six <laughs> with eighty-five horsepower. <laughs> Oh what is the red line? What's the red line on that? Like forty eight hundred RPM. Oh, it's got to be like a diesel. Yeah, exactly. Like Four thousand RPM. Yeah. No, that's, that's like the most. That's the most truck like engine Ford ever built. Was that six? It was just nothing to it. There's just it, it's what they were putting in F one fifty. It's essentially the same engine. Oh, this is the this is the two hundred cube, not the uh, larger one. What was the not, large one? Not the. 30 something 300 or 302 i can't remember i don't know but it's the reason it's the reason it's a 49 and it's the reason why the why the why the 302 like windsor is called a five liter even though it's a 4.9 liter right to not have confusion with the six to not have two 4.9 liter engines all right well that brings us to the end of this episode i hope you enjoyed it um we'll try to do this again next week and happy new year to everybody and please subscribe and like and if you made it this long Thank you. How much? What are we coming out of time? <laughs> Carlos time. says thank you. <laughs> this was more than thirty minutes. Oh yeah, we went way more than thirty. All right. I guess I got to find a Land Cruiser ad. Although I'd rather find a Fairmont one. Oh, no, find a Fairmont ad. <laughs> <Put those laughs> please. In there. please. You know, were there ever land? Were there ever Land Cruiser? Oh, recording. Yeah, I we a Land Cruiser won. and so I found an ad for it. Yeah, we, need, we, need, we need we need we need to add a clock. We need to add a clock, like they do on. See, how's the room? Look for yourself. Loads of headroom and lots of legroom. How about the trunk room? Has more than K-Car. And the sticker price? Hundreds less than a comparably equipped Citation or K-Car. In short, Fairmont won't cost you an arm and a leg. Ford Fairmont. It makes a world of sense.